Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel called The Revit Guy, where we discuss everything construction, documentation, using Revit to prepare drawings, um, and other tips and tricks on Revit. And I've been away for a while again. A lot has been happening in my life. So hopefully, I will find the time to give you an update on that. But so on this class, we want to do RC because I realized this was missing in the previous series that I had done. So without uh, further ado, let's get into it. So there's some fundamentals that you want to show your, obviously you want to show your fittings, so your light, your smoke detectors, um, all the type of light, decorative light, task light, functional light. Um, you want to show everything is in the ceiling speakers sometimes. I'm just doing everything, PR, um, um, also, then what again? What again? What again? LED strips, the, um, any light, anything that's on the ceiling, as much as, much as possible. So most of these fittings will be given to you either by your electrical, mechanical engineer, or sometimes your interior designer, depending on the scale of the project and the consultants that are involved. Okay. Um, first things first, you want to um, obviously get. The name of your space. I have. I I made my ceiling gray. You can make it any other color you want to make it. So you can do that from your element properties. Then also these lights are actually two D elements, so they are detail items, and um, so I don't use three D, especially. Well, for most of them, for I stopped using that a long time ago. If I'm not going to do interior rendering or that kind of, I don't. I'm not going to see it in three D. I really don't put the fittings, maybe some, because I don't want the file to be heavy. So that's one of the tricks that you should know as much as possible. Anything that you can model in 2D that doesn't make sense to model in 3D, you can use detail items or field region as the case may be, right? So, um, pretty. Um, so another thing you notice that I allow the furniture to show and sort of grayed out. So you can see how the lights also, I mean, I'll see how the light and the ceiling influences the space. The next thing you would want to put is your spot height of your ceiling, right? And then um, your spot elevation and simply, let me see if I have the triangular one. Do I have it? Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I like this. So I don't want to show this guy. I just want it to be the other triangle and the text. So it will show the level that the ceiling is on. So this is picking the, the the slab. So you want to be careful with that as much as possible. You don't want to show. So let me put this guy here. I'll move the text later. Uh, okay, so this is on a higher level. This is on another level. Let me leave that for now. I don't know why it's showing like that. Okay. This is on a different level. I wonder why. This is on a different level. I think we have to be consistent. Anyway, so this is just a tutorial class. So let's let's three six look like a a good ceiling height for this project, which is fine. Um, so when you've done that, you now want to dimension your fittings as much as possible. So let's make it thin lines like line work. I think the short key for that is LW. So you do this, and do this, and you do this. So. This text, this uh, might be too much. So let's look for something smaller, like this. That's what this gives us. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. Nope. I've not forgotten the text that we using. Okay, this looks good. So maybe I'll just edit this. Mm. So what do we cut this? Oh no, that's what get first of all. I'll make this RCP 
RCP. I think I've asked this question before. Why do architects, well, me in particular, I like capital letters. Let's try one. Let's see what one does. My norm lock was locked. Unlock now. So I tried one, one was too small. So I left it at, I think two. So, um, so I want to show you something. So you want to, so for instance, let's do this. I want to set this out such that it's like 600 from the wall. Same thing as this to just give you some kind of six. I work with 600, 300, 900 as the case may be. So you would do the same for this side as well. And if you notice where I have windows in like open living spaces, I also left this space for the cutting pavement. Um, and I also will show you data for that in this class. Well, I think I use the edge of the, I wonder why. Let's match our, okay, so this is fine. So, um, leave this at 602. Leave this at, hmm, let's use 900. Because of the way, yeah, 900 looks good. Because of the way it's, the light is, it's like facing that side. So you just align this, align this to this, align this to this, and align this to this. So we pretty much set out this room. So you do this for all the room. So I'll cut the video here, then come back, or speed it up, then come back. And um, when everything is done, then we'll move on to the next fundamental for your RCP. Okay, so I have dimensioned everything and uh, it took me like about maybe 15 minutes. So, um, dimensioned all the lights. Uh, okay, so for context, this is a, uh, a track light. Uh, so we have sort of like an uh, alcove or a bucket system happening there. I'll show you shortly and um, so the lights are placed, dimensioned. So you want to set them up properly like to the wall, vertically and horizontally. And of course your spot heights, your name and the room name. If you can show the furniture, then also the openings. And um, so for instance, I so between these two spaces, I try to make this light, you know, so that they line up on this side and the one at this back too, and the terrace sort of line up at this side. I didn't want this to line up with this because, uh, well, I could do that. So that would mean me doing this, All right? Then if I do this, then I just need to add another light. Yeah, I think that makes sense like that. Yeah, so I lined it up like this, but sadly I couldn't get this to line up. So those are the other intricacies you want to look at. Then obviously you dimension your grid, your overall then also put your legend this is a very very generic and very simple basic so it just has the symbols and what they are so this is single recess dichroic lights double recess dichroic light ceiling lights um ceiling magnetic track light concealed smoke detectors let me then linear led strip so if you notice in this alcove that i said i have I, uh, you know, want to propose like an LED strip there. And also there's a wash basin, also an LED strip behind the wall. So I just showed that there. So this is just like the fundamentals of how you do your RCP dimension, your spot heights, your room name, your room tag, furniture. And um, also let me, so now, um, so there's usually only shadow gap around around the ceiling, but because it's too small, I usually don't pay attention to it. So you could sort of like show more detail on that. So let me show you what this place looks like. This center 
part of the living room and yeah so a lot has happened in my life mainly good news mainly mainly good news so what has been happening in everybody's life okay so it has opened so this is what i have here also these strings are from the old section that i had not yet adjusted so you have this kind of system yeah and you have the track light inside that area so that's pretty much what it looks like then okay like i said we have a, uh, a ceiling what's it called um a cotton pelment at this end so let me just model that um should i model it on camera or pause i usually don't do most of my models, most of the heavy lifting because i try to make the big the videos as short as possible but this would not take time so yeah so like a couple of ways i'll just use extrusion for this one more than in place and i will choose ceiling of course and ceiling five so as i was saying so mainly good news in my office i am <laughs> How do I put it now? I am um, just goodness, yeah. When I get comfortable in sharing some of my person things about my personal life, I would share. But for now, just good news. Like um, what again? Then I got to see my siblings. I hadn't seen them for like my other sister, maybe like three years. My younger sister, three years. I think all of them generally three years. So uh, my daughter I had not seen any of her cousins. So I got to travel because they're out of the country and spent time with them, which was ah, it was so fun. God. 12.5. Yeah, so this 12.5 too. It was so so interesting. I had ah I wish I could give you guys just so uh let's see what that is. It's painful that even if you choose for extrusion, Revit has a lot of work to do, Sha. So rough. Okay, has a lot of work. So I'll just pull this guy up. Oh no, I should have made it. I never like that. Pull this guy up. Hmm. Um, so there are two ways to go about this. So we could do this. What I'm doing now, right? Uh, or we could we could also have it. You know, come. Let me just use the teller to show what I'm talking about. To make it come like this. Hmm. Huh? So it depends. So you can put your cotton stuff to anchor to this guy, or you can leave it like, you know, put another, maybe I should have drawn this as a sweep and did like this. So I will just do a, another video and just do like a blow up of this area. And um, maybe do that for like a detail class, or maybe I could do it now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I think I up to where I don't want it to be. So, um, thank you very much. My channel is almost at 1,000 subscribers. Or even if I have been very nonchalant about this channel. And, um, and I apologize for always going out of the way. So, I want to stick to, you know, a, a proper routine. But my life is very busy. And work and some other personal stuff. Like the reason why I started this channel is so ironic because I had a lot of time too. But the moment I started this thing, like I just started getting works. And um, this channel too also has given me some kind of work. I mean, I'm grateful for everything. Um, so thank you very much. And I would see you on the next one. So like, subscribe, comment, share. And let's grow this channel huh? so that your boy can make some YouTube money. <laughs> Uh, so thank you very much. I appreciate. See you on the next one.
Bye.